Welcome to Scary Box Holiday Special Seasons Greetings. In today's Cryptid Connection Holiday Special, we will be going over one of the most famous cryptids of all. We have a very special guest today. Welcome, Tess. Thank you so much for hosting me. And I'm glad you had the idea of bringing Rudolph in as a cryptid. Most people don't attribute Rudolph to being a cryptid. When you asked me famously what is my favorite cryptid, my initial thought was Rudolph because there are many very faithful believers. He has a lot of lore. Yeah, it's gonna be a long episode, that's oh, for God. sure. <laughs> and you know, he lives at the forefront of Christmas culture. Yeah. Yes, Alden from uh, Alden Mason News is also here. But... <laughs> Let's get connected. Do you know the most famous reindeer of all? Yeah, Donner. Well, now let no, me tell you about Rudolph. Fuck up. It all started <laughs> a couple of years before the big snow. Or is it Mrs. Donner? It Listen to the video. <laughs> we'll, we'll call him Rudolph. Rudolph is a lovely name. He's so Rudolph. handsome. Hey, he big ass head. He's got a shiny nose. Sh sh shiny? I'd even say it glows. <laughs> In the Rankin Bass holiday special, his father is Donner and his mother is tan a Tando who is called Mrs. Donner. Well, Mrs. Donner was screwing around with some uh, red noses in the other town oh. over, you know. Oh, I think she got tired of Mr. Donner. He was saving that one. He was saving that one. The actual origins of this often uncredited cryptid are from a 1939 booklet written by Robert L. May for the Montgomery Ward Department Store. The story is owned by the Rudolph Company LP and has been adapted into numerous forms from songs to movies to now even being part of the main Christmas folklore. Like I said, folklore. It's why yeah, we love yeah. Rudolph. I mean, look at we've started off with strong folklore, including Miss Donner. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we got movies, books, what was it, any video games? Alden, how would Rudolph the Red Nose video game work? Uh, so, you know, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4? Uh, it's like yes. that, but you're Rudolph. <laughs> Skateboarding? No. We're going to find out what being Rudolph is all about. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, you know, spoil too much about his main character traits because I have some formed opinions. The story chronicles the experiences of young Rudolph, a youthful reindeer. Buck. That means male. <laughs> That's in parentheses here. Thank you. Who possesses an unusual, <laughs> an unusual <laughs> luminous red nose. Mocked and excluded by his peers because of this trait, Rudolph proves himself one Christmas Eve with poor visibility due to inclement weather. It's kind of like Alden's hairline. <laughs> oh, Everybody excludes him from reindeer games. Inclement weather? <laughs> <laughs> Rudolph agrees and is finally favored by his fellow reindeer for his heroism and accomplishments. Which, that's kind of lame, honestly. Not until it's you do something, lame. people will like it's you. Like I would never like Nick then if that were the case. What's he doing? Sitting over there working on Nutcracker? No. Hey, Nutcracker 2 is going to be great. Uh-huh. I was going to say that he's heroic, hence Peralski's comment that he was heroic, despite Alden bashing him. <laughs> I think he has great character qualities. He really stood up to the face of the bully. He said, fuck you, bully, yeah, caring what the big man useful. says. Like, I they mean, didn't give a shit about him until he did something for them. It's kind of mean, honestly. Yeah. Okay. It's very transactional. We don't even have a tree. <laughs> so, in the original story, the book does not name Rudolph's parents. In the Rankin-Bass specials, it's Donner and then Mrs. Donner. And in the Good Times retelling of said special, his father's Blitzen, 
and his n mother is named Mitzi. Although, many believe the true mother should be Vixen. Which, alright, fucking more lore. I bet you didn't know that, Tess. I didn't know that there was lore that two of the OG8 uh, created the wonderful <laughs> Rudolph. It doesn't saying, explain how he got the red nose, though. Is that a deformity? It's a genetic anomaly. I'm a biologist. Let's get into it. It's like when you think it's a boy and then it pops out a girl and you're like, oh, well, there you have it. <laughs> When his nose is discovered, he's ostracized. Rudolph runs away with Hermie, an elf who also considers himself a misfit. On their aimless Hermie. journey, they run into Yukon, Cornelius, and attempt to stay away from the Bumble, a huge, abominable snow monster. <laughs> well, Santa announces that Christmas has to be fucking cancelled because of bad weather. So he changes his mind when he notices this guy's red nose and asks Rudolph to lead the sleigh team, which he happily accepts because he's a loser, and if he didn't accept it, he would have still been ostracized, which is still my point. Are you telling me American Airlines just needs a Rudolph and they'd stop grounding flights? No, they already have blinking American red Airlines lights. American Airlines is shit! Everyone's is. American Airlines is shit. <laughs> So, Rudolph, want... if you're looking for hire any other time of the year, I guess, because you're only <laughs> fucking useful one night. <laughs> he would blaze his own flight path, goddammit. He would blaze it in the air? R Rudolph's blazing in the air! <laughs> in honor of his maybe dad blitzen. <laughs> now, believe it or not, it's kind of hard to find sightings of Rudolph. National Periodical Publications, which later becomes becomes DC Comics, began to oh. publish Rudolph annual comics from 1950 to 1962, and a 14th return story in 1972. The Rankin Bass popularity led to two sequels, Rudolph's Shiny New Year, <laughs> which continued the reindeer's journeys, and the series was made into a trilogy with the feature-length oh. film Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July, 1979. Oh, I remember, which, I remember parts of that one, one, not the whole thing. But I was never a fan of that one either. That was a stupid. Also, fun fact, 1972, the birth year of my mother. That was my thought during your little monologue there. <laughs> The sequel then integrated the Rudolph universe into that of Rankin Bass's adaptation of Frosty the Snowman, 1969. Love Being it. one of the most popular nice. Rankin Bass. Nice. Fun fact: nice. the birth year of my father. <laughs> Hell yeah! Continue. Rankin Bass really birthed your parents. <laughs> <laughs> like with each publishing of a Rankin Bass. <laughs> production came out in 2001 that birthed me it's like the last one was like that it year ends in 2001. 2001. there's something here it would be yes. wild if it was it's like oh my goodness nothing nothing <laughs> birthed me here i am a miracle of the rank and bass universe wait why does this say 2001 widescreen oh oh boy <gasps> i hate this no like I said, like I predicted, why is she running like that? This is worse than Spirit, and I love Spirit. This is X. weird. I don't like this. Yeah. And here I am. Do you think I'm weird? I oh, fucking I hate, oh, no. I fucking hate <laughs> this goddamn kite. This is, is this the what? Doctor Who adventure. Oh my hour. goodness. Alright, you, you <laughs> fucking nerd. Day 21. Who invited this nerd? Carols. There's a reference to Rudolph in the <laughs> Song to Ren Carols from 2012. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer oh, had a very shiny nose. It proved to be a tactical disadvantage because it enabled me to punch him in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> That it gives not... me throwbacks, and that gives me okay. no Rudolph. Mad TV featured Rudolph in a parody of the 1964 Rankin-Bass special called Raging Rudolph. Look, it's a raid! 
The cops are here. You'll never be in Santa's gang. Never be in Santa's gang. Hey, what's that? Look here. Get him. Get him. Get him. Are we gang banging Rudolph? What yeah. the fuck is this? Oh. I guess I'm just a <laughs> <Not the laughs> neck freak. He yeah. looks like a clown. He looks You look scary. like a clown. What is the pot? Three BBC animations carry on the legend by introducing Rudolph's son, Tess. Did you know this? Why would Rudolph Wow. Be a son? Because it's part of the lore. I don't care about Laura, I care about the man himself, Rudolph. Pay attention. Reindeer Wolf. A bit like Roy, Robbie. Huh? Jim Belushi. Now this is more like me. Jerry Stiller. No, no, no. Brad Garrett. Blitzen is the villain of this film. Robbie the Reindeer. You can't escape, Blitzen. This is really trying to be hoodwinked, and it's failing. Tess. Lore master of Rudolph, all things Rudolph, the 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 birthright of Rudolph. Do you know of any ro of uh, Rudolph's siblings? Girl, you're really what? I, I'm not that much of a nerd on Rudolph. I know all. <laughs> in the Over the Hedge comic series, oh, love uh, the hedge. An overweight, emotionally damaged reindeer named Ralph. Uh, the infrared-nosed reindeer who is referred to as Rudolph's older brother. <laughs> Ralph's oh, wow. red nose is good for defrosting Santa's sleigh and warming oh up God. toasts and waffles. <laughs> <laughs> he enviously <laughs> complains about his brother Rudolph's publicity. Well, that's, uh, that's a ton of information on Rudolph. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. That apparently Tess didn't know, so she's a liar. <laughs> um. Clearly, Alden has a problem with Rudolph's crappy hero journey. So, <laughs> uh -huh. Alden, if you were to alter the origin story of the most famous reindeer of all, what did you want to do? I don't think that he should have been bullied until he uh, was a useful component to their machine. Bullied after he became useful? No, 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 before. Like, I don't think that his usefulness should have dictated whether or not he was getting bullied by everyone. Well, he was getting bullied because of the way he looked, not because of Yeah, his that's pretty ableist. <laughs> he has a disorder, Tess. Show some fucking respect. <laughs> It is until the way he looks contributed to what they wanted. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Alright, kids. <laughs> now, I hope that was enough information for you. Uh, Tess, Alden, figure out yeah. how you're going to capture Mr. Run Run Rudolph. What the fuck is this? We're catching Mom. Rudolph. He's a cryptid. We have to catch him. Picture a roof of a house. Okay, we'll use my cousin's house. <laughs> it's gotta be when they're coming in. Okay, big net. As they're coming in to land on the roof, you have a net just wrap all of them. And you just capture all, all of them. All? All nine? Yeah, and Santa. And whoever Santa brought along. Ten and extra? Yes, actually. I bet they got a big bounty in Turkey. I would pay a lot. For Santa. <laughs> no. Yeah, for Santa. That's not bad. I think there's a little, Why a few flaws. <laughs> I'm thinking we have to drop the net. What if it's just like the a trebuchet of net throwing? Because <laughs> if you have something then we need above good the house, aim. they're going to... You just practice it and get it, like, dialed down. It I'll can be pretty consistent. Catapult. Yeah. All you need to do is have half the net anchored at one side of the house. I was just about to say And then fire the that. other side so it just wraps around. So, uh, yeah, so what we need to do is have us four all in a line on the side of the house. Okay. With heavy weights, right? Yes. And what we do is right when he lands, we all throw it. And yeah, we it, shot you know, put it over the roof. Yeah, and we do it horizontally, so you know we get the it's whole a fucking long line. It's horizontal of them. <laughs> Yes. Has anybody ever drugged Santa's cookies? Is that a plot line of a movie? It could be. Write it. <laughs> write that down. Write, write that, that down. 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 Literally writing that down. That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> no. We gotta who, do it with violent night whoever, coming out. Whoever's watching this, uh, don't take this idea. Okay. Okay. Tess, how are you gonna capture the beast? So my thought was we actually go to the North Pole, because why oh. the fuck not? <laughs> oh, we're whoa. going 
We're Whoa. going. We're that's going. A, that's a big budget already. We're, we're going to the North Pole, baby. But no, the rest of the budget is not a budget. The entire budget is being spent on going to the North Pole. The rest of the budget is just me making friends with Rudolph, which costs nothing. And I think that me being an Irish Catholic and being a dedicated stan of Rudolph from my birth into the cradle of Catholicism um, yes, would wonderful. buy me some points. And I think he really would want to make friends with me. And then I would just convince him to, you know, come to the lake with me in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. And, you know, y'all could be there in a car and we push him in. That's the whole <laughs> capture is we become best friends and then y'all scam him because I don't want to be participating in this, in this, in this capture because I I love him too much. I don't want to I don't want to catch him. I want him <laughs> to live his life and continue serving the world. Um, what is this? I'm scared of it. What is he's Rudolph? What, what is this? I mean, the Daily Beast? Rudolph. Probably no, no, no. the realistic version. Shy but Jewish I don't boy love it. gives America okay, a Rudolph. Nick, tell me how. Tell me, Nick, how you're going to be capturing this beast. So if it's the team meeting here, what we'd do is first, we would have to adopt a, a child. Use them as bait and as a decoy. We don't include them in what the whole shenanigan plan is. Second, we get Alden's cousin. Se second, second, we get Alden's cousin, but he does know the plan. He's the inside man and kind of just like keeps the orphan boy kid under control. So this is what he does. He keeps the orphan kid under control, just keeps watching him because this is what we're going to do. We're going to have it to where him, those two kids make reindeer food, which is basically in a sense like just trail mix and, you know, M&M's. Lots of peanut butter. It's a lot yes, of peanut butter. Yes, glitter. And yes, they're going to make a lot of that. And then that kind of thing. We got to put it on a pine cone. Yeah. Exactly. That's how you murder That's squirrels. Food. No, That's no, how you murder you put squirrels in Florida. Yeah, we give them the pine cones. We We're put gonna... dynamite in pine cones. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kaboom. And then what we do, so, you know, we put it on the rook at all there, so Santa, you know, get cookies all made, and then we're going to use, like, you know, what Perlsky said, we're going to drug the cookies. So, you know, Santa comes down, and we're going to use the two kids. So, you know, the one that was in on it, Alden's cousin's going to basically keep an eye on both of them, and just to keep a recon, and then, while the other reindeer are up there, you know, snacking away, that's when all of us go in and strike. What was it, this uh, reminds me of in Santa Claus 2 when he kidnaps the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> when, he, when the Tooth Fairies try to get the tooth and they, he just chloroforms them, just takes them out. <laughs> there could have never been another Tooth Fairy. Tess and Alden are going to be in the reindeer suit. And basically they're going to they're gonna clip, they're going to clip, clop, flip, flop. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. You need to practice your flopping. Are you the front or the back? I feel like back so you can take the reindeer calls, obviously. Oh, That's okay. what you're getting projected okay. as here. <laughs> yeah. Also, thinking about it, I don't think we need the orphan kid. We could have just used Alden's cousin. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> no, <we> <laughs> <laughs> what if we're you down to murder just... Santa? Wait, no, because then you'd be Santa, right? You're right. Wait, you is that voice? how we get Rudolph? Oh, then uh... we're just gonna 12 gauge Santa's forehead. Wait, who? Me? Andrew P. Roberts. Oh. Josh? Josh Kubis? Another friend of the show? <laughs> Maybe. I, yeah, no. I think it's Josh. I think it's gotta be Josh. Tess, you want to set Rudolph free in the wild, right? Yeah, I want him to live his best life with all of his reindeer friends. I think that he can hang but out. But he's with no longer useful, Tess! That's the whole point! argument we're trying to make with you they no. won't be his friends because he's fucking useless uh, now it's time to put him no, down but like i'm sorry to be an ecology major but he would still be useful to his ecosystem and the other oh, people right. who interacted with him i'll give you credit he did i forgot not have a bright yeah. red nose because maybe those dumb fucking deer would stop running in front of fucking cars <laughs> No, Wait, we'll do the but we're talking about a deer. No. Yes, Where's the kangaroo? No, no, no. You gotta search it. It's no, such a better video. Search it. 
<laughs> no. There it is, it's a fucking kangaroo! What? <laughs> 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 the audio was enough for me. Yo! <laughs> this is so suspenseful. Conk, conk, conk. Walk it off, Bambi. <laughs> well, get off Rudolph That's gonna be what happens when Nick pelts him in the fucking head With the weight when we're trying to throw the net over the house He's gonna kill Rudolph Yeah, I yeah. didn't write an outro So just say it to, is he Exit the show Go ahead, all that Give it your best shot uh, I want a Klaus sequel That's uh, Rudolph origin story <laughs> Well That's our Christmas special, kids Merry Christmas. I hope Christmas. you all had a good time. Yeah. Merry, merry, happy holidays. Merry happy holidays. Christmas and happy Hanukkah. Yeah, see Violent Night in theaters, I guess. Ha Watch the Nutcracker 2. Uh, is Nutcracker 2 gonna be done in time? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, well, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. I am cutting. <laughs>